Hello, my name is Stretsky and welcome to another part of Volcanum. The fucking obscure magic sun. Oh my god, what have I done? I just pressed WSAD again. So we got two headstones here, two graves. This headstone is exquisitely carved with this message Gemla, beloved wife and, wife and mother, and Saf, beloved son. And we're going to Arbalach. To Brego, the ghost of Brego has told us to kill. Level 10 would be a challenge. It is an honor. And who might you be, sir? This wizened old priest seems to be in some pain. I am Arbola, he winces. And you are? I am Arcturus. Well, Arcturus, what brings you to my humble farm? I've been sent here by Brego's spirit. He's dead already. How sad. Has he sent you to finish what he did not? Already? Finish what he started? What are you speaking of? I'm surprised his path ended so soon after after he shattered mine. After I had offered him them food and drink, he and his friends, uh, friend Farkas, I believe his name was, ransacked my house for whatever they could find. When they finally found my one object of any value, a sacred, hol sacred holy artifact, they killed my family. They left me for dead as well. So you cursed them. He winces in pain once again. I retired from the priesthood some years ago, but it was all I could think to do in my pain and grief. The souls will never leave this plane of existence. And the curse of madness that caused Farkas to kill Brego? No, I believe that was the curse of the greed. If I had to guess, Farkas decided he didn't want to share the ill-gotten Ill gains with anyone. Despicable people. I am sorry for your loss. Thank you for your kind words, but there is something else. I need to recover the sacred artifact they stole. It is very important to me. I needed to pray to my gods effectively. Did Brego say anything? Give any clue as to where it might be? No, he did not. He hobbles a bit close to you. I know it is none of your affair, but could you assist me in trying to locate what is rightfully mine? It is the least I could do. Any idea where I should start? Uh, yes, I will go with that. Excellent. Perhaps our friends, the late Mr. Brago, would have some information he could impart to you regarding the location of my sacred possession. He smiles at you warmly. I appreciate your kindness, though I regret I have nothing to give you for your help. I will return when I have retrieved your property, sir. Sir! We're going back to the crash site. And, I mean, I am going through this kind of like... I, I, oh shit. I've been through this, you know. I know what happens here, okay? The later parts, maybe gonna miss something out, maybe. I haven't. I don't remember all the text, so reading them is gonna be quite fun for me. And now we're going to Brego to ask him where Farkas is. I beg of you the pain. I uh, need to talk to the friend that killed you. So he spoke with Arbala instead of killing him. Bravo, my friend. I applaud you. Tell me where Farker is. Why should I tell you that? I will still be here for eternity. I convinced Arbala to release you if you help me. Lie. You would, wouldn't, you would, wouldn't you? If there is one thing about you noble types is that you, you'll do the right thing, even if it kills you. Very well. Anything to be released from this pain. He points to a location on the map. Farkas is there. Thank you. By the way, I lie. You still get to rot here forever. Ha! 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 Cunt! Let's go. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So we're gonna go and find Mr. Farkas now. The other cool nifty feature, feature in this game is that you can just literally just do that. And they're gonna follow the path. What the fuck did that? Okay, there we go. And then we can fast travel. Oh man, this is, this is so, such a fucking great game! There's been only like 240,000 copies sold of this. That's not enough. That is not enough at all. I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was made in a time when gaming wasn't that much of a deal as it is now, you know. Oh, he, he took that. Wow, you greedy fuck, Virgil. So we're going to Simon Farker's shack. Not even a house, a shack. <laughs> Mr. Farkas. Wake the fuck up. Okay, we're gonna sleep until morning. Hello, Mr. Farkas. 
I don't know you half of no do I want to speak to me like that again and you will see you will regret it he screams and shields his face with his hands P -p please sir don't hurt me I am sorry for any office I have given I'm here for Arbola you will return what is his or you will die he suddenly looks very unsure of himself what what do you mean I I, I have no uh, idea what are you talking about grab him this is your last warning you spineless worm here here it is please don't hurt me he hurried the hands you the artifact. Thank you, you may live for now. Good day. Should I kill him? Should I kill him? I don't think so. Good day. Valjo, you mind grabbing that? Because if he grabs it, he's dead. You, he grabbed what that. that. What, a, what a legend. Uh, uh, trade. Fucking hate the inventory. Inventory, so full of shit. Okay, let's go to Arbalas house now. <sighs> also, while fast traveling through the world, you can encounter like creatures and shit, different sort of stuff, and I think that's also great. Arbala, my friend, I have retrieved your artifact. I thank you as do the spirits of my ancestors. I must admit to having lied to you before as well. He smiles a kindly smile. I do have something to give you, something of immeasurable value. I bestow my blessing upon you. Everyone you meet will now react more favorably to you than perhaps they did in the past. You are most generous, sir. Goodbye. Okay, so I have found a plaque on the mountain of the fly, a strange shrine at the crash site had this carved into it, and hill spirit. Okay, the living one is meant to be the reincarnation of an elf named Nazruddin, a powerful elf wizard. I was attacked by a strange man at the crash site. Okay, so that's all the main story. This is, these are the quests. Reputations are not. Blessing and curses for returning Arbola sacred artifact to him. You have been given his blessing. And the blessing includes... Uh... Reaction modifier plus two. Not a lot, but it's decent, you know. I uh, still got one more skill point I've forgotten about, and we're gonna give that to pickpocket because being able to pickpocket people in this game is specifically great. See, that's what I meant. While you fast travel, you may encounter these, which makes it that much in that's my, that much more interesting. And Joaquim is staying at the inn next to the bank. Ladies and gents, we are indeed in Shrouded Hills, the first town or village that we will encounter on our long, long journey through Arcane. And Shrouded Hills Inn, Joaquin's which is great. Is at the end of the hall on the left. So we're gonna go there. I I've never like really taken time with this game. You know, I was a kid. Good God, what's happened here? These men, I, I've never seen them before. I was a kid when I played it, and I never was really like, um, how should I say it? Patient. <laughs> oh shit, I fucked up, didn't I? Yo, Virgil, you want that? Go grab it. <clears throat> so I got the note for Elder Joaquim. Virgil, I assume you are not alone. As you can see, there are people at the Shrouded Hills looking for me. Luckily for me, these fellows were easily dispatched. Do not speak with anyone about the Zeppelin crash or your new companion, companion's involvement with it. When you are able to make your way to Tarrant, check the telegram office there. Sorry to interrupt, oh, you but fuck it seems face. Joaquim has discovered something. These individuals seem to be part of some larger plot. A plot against you. Mm -hmm. It looks that way. Tell me, Virgil, who exactly is the Joaquim? He is, well, someone who helped me out when I needed it. I met him in a small village at a Panari temple. I was, uh, a bit down on my luck. He showed me that you don't always have to take what life gives you. That there's always a better path. And that it's always your choice to travel it. What do you mean, down on your luck? What had happened? I I'd rather not talk about it anymore. His but face Joaquim hardens. is a great man, well versed in the ways of the Panari, and also in the ways of the world. If he thinks we're in trouble, then we are. Let's get out of here and get to Tarant. Tarant. All right, Virgil. Perhaps we'll talk more of this later. Virgil, silent, lost in thought. There is some money in here, I believe, and we shall take that. Okay, it's time to get rich, and I'll show you just how to do it. Hello, good dog. I might ask who you are. Me? 
I am Sog Mead Mug. Mead Mug, I'm sorry, is that your family name? Nice to meet you, Sog. Could I ask you a few questions? What are you doing here in Shrouded Hills? Not much. I work doing odd jobs, making a little coin when I need it. Most of I spend my time in this here fine inn. I tell you, friend, <coughs> I've been to just about every inn and time in Arcana, and I think this <coughs> is my favourite. I see. What can you tell me about Shrouded Hills? Shrouded <coughs> Hills? Not a bad place, though, boring. Uh, can't go nowhere right now, though. There are some bloody thieves at the bridge who won't let anyone <coughs> out of the town. Charging bloody toy, and I ain't got no money. Perhaps you should join. I'm looking to get out of town. Now, uh. You know, I'm gonna take him just for now. I. I don't think so, friend. No friend, well, I'm not sure. Not sure. I'm not convinced that he is a nice voice just yet. Okay, what the fuck? Why? Okay, okay, okay. So, we got some shit to do in here, but first things first, let's advance to morning. Then we're gonna go to the most wonderful. Cellar in Shrouded Hills, probably in all their canum. And you are good, sir. I am Ristet, importer of fine goods and rarities from all the old. <laughs> Why the fuck did I give it that voice? Oh, that Italian accent. Okay, whatever. And rarities from all over the world. Nowhere will you find a more incredible assortment of fantastical oddities from your concert. I mean, it just comes naturally. I don't know why. You know the Ristet's name? Fantastic odysseys from the four corners of Arcanum and beyond. You're looking for something specific, yes? <laughs> um, could you answer a few questions? What can we start to do for you? Uh, what can you tell me about this ring? Interesting. Hmm, I finally made a piece of jewelry. What exactly do you want from this What What is it made out of? I'm not quite sure, but instead it would say that it is made out of silver. A fine grade as well. Not the way it shines. It is that would also say it was made nowhere near Shrouded Hills. Nothing of such quality could have found, uh, could have, could have come from this place. <laughs> Would such silver be mined? Definitely not the Bessie Tone mine here in Shrouded Hills. Bessie Tune, ha! I spit on Bessie Tune and Shrouded Hills. The very idea of easy Ristetsa. Let's talk about the initial GB. GB. No one that I know. Plus, it is impossible that someone in Shrouded Hills would own such a high-quality piece of jewellery. More likely, they'd melt it down and use it for nails. Oh, that thought! How Ristetsen has languished here, my friend. I I have trouble speaking in an accent. <laughs> you may have noticed. Uh, I'd like to ask about the imprint of P. Shlelsons. A very important piece of this puzzle, eh, my friend? Ristetsa has been very free with information, no? What have you to offer Ristetsa? Eh, maybe you don't know as much as I thought. Ristetsa sees that you've never learned the grace of business etic etiquette. Let's kind of ride out of the chase then. Ristetsa has information you need. Ristetsa needs something in return. I know where it is, okay? But, come on now. What is it you're looking for? Uh, Reset a collection of strange and wonderful things. Perhaps there are a few options you could add to Reset's collections. What things are you looking for exactly? Two things actually. If you were able to locate a camera, I got that. That tele no, a technological wonder or something of Bessie Tunes, Reset might tell you about pea shooters and sons and where you might find them. Sounds fair. I'll turn with one or both. Uh, I should have asked. Do you have a moment? I have a few questions. What sort of logic do you buy and sell? Many things are different and all unusual. Ristess is an expert in things both magical and technological. Ristess can tell you. Uh, magical, you know, some stuffy mage casts a spell on something and makes it magical. After that, it does strange things to people or it makes trees turn blue or you grow another arm. You know, magical. I see. And how does one become a stuffy mage? Become a mage? Why would you want to do that? Ristess would think you probably just need to chant spells at all day or draw a rune in a drift with a stick and stay away from technological things <sighs> why do I have to stay away from technology magic and technology are two sides of the same coin yes one of them twists nature that being magic and the other one uses it because of this they don't work too well around one another one of them always seems to break with the other no Ristetsa has different shelves for both okay I want to do business matters uh, bah, 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 actually, can we? Ch shall we barter? There we go. Okay, I need to get rid of this. Okay, 
Uh, how do I? Okay, there it is. We don't need that. Don't need that. I'm gonna sell this simply because he wants to pay for that <laughs> now. <laughs> what a twat. Uh, electrolyte. We're gonna sell those. Stun nades. I don't need them. We're gonna leave the explosives because it's gonna be useful though. Revolver chamber. Go away. Dynamite is also something I'm gonna need sooner or later. Uh, funny thing, I could actually sell those for 12 coins each. So I think I'm gonna do that and leave myself with 10 of them. He still have not run out of money, so that's great. Uh, fatigue restore, we're gonna leave that for now. Steel, we're gonna leave because it's useful. This is completely fucking useless, this thing. It's good for crafting later on, but... Okay, so there is that, health potion, six, are you fucking mental? Uh, cut horn crystal, we're gonna leave here as well. He doesn't have anything that interests me, so I'm just gonna go away. So Bessie Toon, Bessie Toon, okay, we're gonna talk to people now. Might I ask who you are, sir? Greetings, I'm Lloyd Gerlos, the local blacksmith. How might I help you today? A pleasure, Lloyd, might I ask you a few questions? <coughs> How has business been lately? Business? Oh, I suppose it's never sunny here in Shorter Hills. We're a small town and simple folk. But to be honest, I've had trouble greeting, getting my hands on any goods or for some smithing. It's hard to bring out anything out of the old Bessie Tune. What's the old Bessie Tune? Bessie Tune is an old silver mine. Just north and late west of town. I'm not going to do that. There hasn't been silver down there for a long time, but I'll br still bring up some mine now or every once in a while. Worthless, though, as long as Bessie is wandering her mind. What? Who's Bessie Toon? Lord Wings, are you? Well, I could tell you who she was, but I'm no good at spinning arms. If you really want to know about Bessie, you should talk to her some Percival. He lives on up there near the mine. I see. What type of ore do you need, Floyd? Lloyd? Well, sir, I'm dying of some pure ore. I'll not make a blade without it. If you could find some, I might be obliged to make you a dagger out of whatever was left. Sounds like a good trip. I'll do it. Uh, I'm departing. Uh, it's been a few months. Okay, I'm still looking for some more. That's fine. I forgot. Smithing is going gonna, is gonna to be a pretty important part in this, uh, this thing. So where is... That's the... Who's this? No, hold on. Because the... Uh, guy, the tune, the Percival tune is here, I believe. So I'm gonna go to him. We got 1,000 gold, which is a decent, decent amount. That's not the Percival tune's fucking house. That's that's his house. Oh man, I fucking love this game so much. I hope I can actually upload it, because this is the second part, I haven't even checked if the first one's good. What the fuck am I doing in my life? So, human vi villager, and who might you be, sir? Old fellow looks at you, and at, at you asking and being to, begins to sweat. I, I am Percival too, why do you ask? I want to ask about your mother. My mother, you're not here for... Uh, what do you wish to know about my dear mother? Here for what? Who do you think I was? What? I... Uh, uh, I thought he was here to kill me. The businessman I was forced to sell the mine to is rather unscrupulous. He is very upset about the ore in the mine going sour. He wrings his hands in despair. I need to find a way to free my mother. It's her ghost that is ruin ru ruining the ore somehow. Uh, perhaps I can help. Oh, that would be wonderful. He claps his hands together. If you could do that, I would be ever so grateful. It would mean a monetary reward of 500 coins as well. I'll return when I have looked into this matter. Okay, so we got a request. 500 gold is quite a fucking lot, if you ask me. But I don't think we're going to get it because there was some plot with his sister. I don't remember correctly, and this is great to replay it. Okay, so here we are in Bessie Toon's mine. There's going to be some shit happening. We've got a lantern that we can sell for a decent amount of money. We've got an iron ore. As we're gonna need that, and we're gonna go straight up this way first. Level up, beautiful. Okay, sick. And here is the mother of Bessie. 
The fucker poisoned me. <laughs> Before you stands an eternal figure with ghastly looking eyes, Sarah, my dear Sarah. So that's, if I remember correctly, is a daughter. And this is what we're gonna trade for information about the ring. Here, hey, I don't need Monroe's cleaner. Uh, I'm kind of full on full inventory again. That's that saddens me greatly. So yeah, how I'm gonna how I'm gonna level up my character is okay. This is gonna poison me. No, okay, sick. Uh, I usually go kind of half and half. Mostly, more I put more uh, into magic done the technical side of things and I'm basically more of a magician than a te technician you know okay so this uh, this is the big wolf the big wolves can fuck you up early in the game even now he fucked me up okay oh, okay traps all right brilliant this is please please be something in there please ah oh, there's gonna be nothing because I've got a dagger fuck okay level six that's fine Uh, except uh, I've got plenty of tasks already, and which is kind of ridiculous. There is a wolf who just triggered the trap, which is beautiful. And then we're gonna go to another <coughs> wolf lair. No, that's a spider lair. Okay. All right, done. Oh shit. Nothing of interest here really. Man, I've I've been really unlucky with the loot so far, but whatever. We'll get there, we'll get there. We will get there. So don't you worry, don't you worry, child, right? And we're out of the mine, let's go talk to Percival, and then to restart, eh? Well, however the fuck would you pronounce his name. So this is where we're going to tell him about the Sarah thing. I'm surprised he didn't go investigate on it. Although if it was my mum's ghost, I would probably not go investigate either. I spoke with your mother's ghost. Then what did she say? She said, Sarah, my dear Sarah, who's Sarah? He looks disgusted. Sarah, he spits the name. Sarah, this is my sister. A hateful person, really. She deserted us, left here to go to that diplomatic place in Kingdom Durnham. What an affront to our family! Why'd she do that? Who can say she was always so irritable and linked to me? I broke my mother's heart. It broke my mother's heart when she left. Perhaps I should go and speak with her? Why? Why would you want to do that? She can be of no help. Of that I can assure you. Uh. It would be unwise, I mean, there is nothing she can tell you that would help. It can't hurt, though, I'm, okay. No, I am, I mean, I don't really know if she's still in, living in Durnholm. Actually, no, now that I think about it, I believe she no longer lives there. I suppose you'll have to find out. As well. I'm sorry I mentioned it, I'll be going now. We're going to Durnholm, boys! She is still in Durnholm. The cunt's lying because he's hiding something, and I don't remember what he's hiding. That's going to be more of a, you know... I, 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 it just came to my mind. Would could I kill the ghost with a disintegration spell? I mean, it's gonna be a while until I can do that, you know. But could I do that? Who might you be? I'm John Gudan, learned wizard and alchemist. If you have a problem in shrouded hills or magical nature, I'm the person to see. You've got me at a bad time, friend. Perhaps we could speak later. It is a pleasure to meet you. Might I be of assistance? Well, perhaps. I have a problem here in Shrouded Hills of a most delicate nature, strictly confidential, if you get my meaning. Of course, might I ask you a few questions about it? Certainly. Uh, what does it mean, Alchemist? is an individual who studies the properties of objects and tests how they react with one another. It's not really magic. Uh, wait, uh, not really science, but has characteristics of both. Somewhat of a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. Do you follow? Clearly, might have. Uh, what is the nature of the problem? Well, there is a conspiracy here in Shrouded Hills, a dark plan full of mystery and intrigue. Interesting. This whole town is out to get rid of me. They've been brainwashed by that Constable Owens, and now it's only a matter of time before I'm forced to leave. I see what has Constable Owens 
done to you? Oh shit, 25 minutes. Uh, what is done to me? The man has endangered the natural balance which allows me to put bread on my table. Do you have any idea what the presence of this bloody steam engine does to my magical abilities? No, what is I see, you're speaking of nature of magic and technology. Okay. Cause of always is weakening my powers. There was a time that I was most powerful man uh, goodness, a big place like this. The sarcasm is lost on him. Yes! If only there was some uh, there was a good okay, what exactly are we proposing? If you could find a way to disable that infernal machine, I might be able to part with a couple of healing potions. What do you say? It's a deal. Good day then. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. Anyway, 25 minutes has passed. I just realized. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know what you think of the series so far in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!